This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Rudy Beishabasi with a CBS 4 News update. Broward Mosquito Control is working to prevent the spread of diseases after a locally transmitted case of dengue fever. Crews sprayed neighborhoods overnight in Miramar and Fort Lauderdale, targeting areas where they see a concentration of the type of mosquito that can carry dengue. While dengue can be deadly in severe cases, doctors say it can mostly be cured on its own. The spray is not harmful to people or pets. However, Mosquito Control asks families to stay inside if they see the truck in their neighborhood. The New York Times is apologizing and has revised an article about a new sexual misconduct allegation against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. On Sunday, the Times reported that an allegation of Kavanaugh exposing himself to a woman at Yale University at a party there. The story did not include that the alleged victim declined to be interviewed. The paper also revised its article to include that the alleged victim could not recall the incident. The paper's editor has issued an apology for an inappropriate and offensive tweet promoting the article. A big problem is bubbling up in the nation's top hard seltzer brand. White Claw Seltzer, which is an industry leader, says there is a nationwide shortage of the popular drink. The company suggests it became the victim of its own success, with demand taking off faster than expected. The company is working to increase its supply, but no word yet on when store shelves will be fully restocked. Now, CBS4 Weather. Craig Setzer and CBS4 Weather Control. The tropics very active. Of course, we're at the high point of the season now. We have Umberto to our east, Melda to our west, and off the screen there, tropical depression 10 in the Atlantic. Plus, something to get excited about. It's our first fall cold front that's right now in the middle of the country and is going to be heading our way and breaking the heat finally. It has been a long, hot summer, and it's about time for some relief. It's not really cold air, but just not as hot. Starting tomorrow, sun and breeze, not as hot. Maybe a few showers here or there. Then going on into your Thursday and Friday, high pressure builds in, breezy sun. Definitely some heat relief. You will notice it over the weekend, though, because the front sticks around, staying breezy, but a better chance for some passing showers over the weekend. So this is the way it looks then, taking us through the next five days. We'll see one more day in the 90s, but not as hot as it's been in mid-90s, and then mid to upper 80s with a better chance for showers, especially by Saturday and Sunday. Ruta Bay. All right, Craig, thank you very much. And that's our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.